So I've been into making Sculpey figurines for quite a while. This is one of my earlier octopi. Um, I really like him. He's a good octopus. I used a wire armature. I created a wire armature um, and then covered it in Sculpey and then painted it. And so this is my my first octopus that I did. It's a steel uh, wire armature. Pretty tough guy. Uh, anyway, I had an idea, really uh, had an idea for a different sort of, I can want to say like creature or uh, I guess character. And then I keep seeing these, you know, I have leftover pill bottles around and I thought, this is kind of a weird, funky, sort of space helmet type thing. And I thought, what kind of creature would have a space helmet? And, well, of course, it would be a space squid. So I created the uh, space squid. And uh, he's a miner and, uh, you know, asteroid miner. He currently has his welding set up. And uh, he's wearing a space suit, obviously. See some little details here. Um, I recently finished, painted, and weathered this little guy, and I used actually some techniques from Adam Savage. Been watching a lot of Tested lately, and so he has quite a bit of dirt on him, of course, uh, moon dust, and various other parts or sorts of dust that uh, are basically just painted on using uh, sort of a dry brushing technique and acrylic paints. Uh, his helmet does attach here and you can see the base, you can see the base of the, of the helmet is actually the top of the pill bottle, uh, which sort of integrated into this figurine. And again, I made this with, uh, it's kind of hard to get on and off, but I used, uh, a wire armature. This one is actually using an aluminum wire armature. It's not quite as strong as the steel wire armature of the first octopus, but a lot easier to work with. And that's it. That's my space squid. Uh, space squid. And he has a he has a welder right now attached to this little pack. Uh, originally made it sort of a tank, thinking that it would be a MIG welder with sort of argon gas or something, but I realize in space, in space you really don't need argon gas because there's no oxygen to contaminate your weld. So anyway, there's that's kind of an oversight, but hey, who cares? Um, I think he's pretty neat. He does need a little bit more work maybe in the future or maybe a companion and a backstory. That's that.